What is going on guys? It's the Bearded Dad and thank you for joining in. We're in a little bit different setting today because it's so nice outside because it is spring. So you know what that means. It's a spring 2019 EDC pocket update. Let's roll that intro. What is up guys? So yes, it is spring here in Oklahoma and well, my EDC kind of has changed. Um, so let's go through it, talk about what's changed, what hasn't changed, what's stayed the same, and uh, let's just chat. So knife, or not knife, watch. Watch has changed. I went away from the other Casio, that black one, to the OD green. This is the Casio W218H. Um, it does everything I need. Um, I like it how it's OE green with black um, and it's a little bit bigger face. It fits my wrist and looks a little bit better on there. So that has changed. Um, would I update it? You know, if I could find the right one, I probably would, but I'm really digging the OD green. Uh, key situation. That has changed to a bit. I still rock the um, Lionheart Leatherworks Gotcha key tag. But I have added the Kershaw tool to the key ring. Um, and then the key smart, I don't keep it attached anymore. This stays separate um, when I'm at work. When I'm not at work, I don't need these keys, so I don't carry it. When I'm not at work, these are the only keys I need. So um, this stays in the car while I'm at work, and this goes in with me, so I'm not losing my keys at work. Uh, as far as the Kershaw uh, key organizer goes I still love it it's still probably one of my favorite ones that's out there on the market um, would I want a key bar yeah can I picture myself spending that money no I can't uh, if I was going to change this I'd go to the key smart I believe it's rugged because it does have the option of a pocket clip um, but I've been looking at the key smart dangler just to keep this uh, attached to either the belt or the inside of my pocket so it's not loose and turning on me uh, that's about the only change with that what i would want to do with that um multi-tool i've carried a couple leathermans um, and other multi-style tools but i keep going back to the hex flex um size wise features functionality it's just what i find myself needing uh, and plus it gives me a fidget factor um, so i can just spin it around play with it and i'm not messing around with clicking a pin or flicking a knife which I like doing both of those, but this is just less annoying to people. I can do it a little bit less quiet, and uh, people won't really know. But as far as multi-tools go, I find myself just using what's on this, and I don't really need the pliers. Um, when I have the pliers, I find myself looking for things to do with it. And, you know, well, this is what I need. Hexflex, the uh, multi-tool. This thing's awesome. Uh, the knife kind of the main knife has changed. Um, I believe I was carrying the CRKT M16 OS spear point and carrying the CRKT folding razzle. Both of those great knives. I love both of those. I love the folding razzle and I love the spear point M16. But I've watched so many YouTube videos and reviews of the Ontario Rat that I just had to find one and carry it. I was walking through Walmart and sure enough they carry the Rat 1 and they were selling it for 20 bucks. It's OD Green Scales, um, the only thing is it is OS 8. So it's not the D2 Tool Steel, but it is the OS 8 version. Um, I've been carrying it now for the past month. I haven't really had to sharpen it, it still has a really good edge. I will see myself having to sharpen it here in a little bit, but it works, it works for me. I haven't made any adjustment to the pivot or the action. I just moved the pocket clip for tip up carry. As you see, tip up. But out of the box, that is fantastic. I can now see why everyone raves and rants over the Ontario Rat. For the money and what you're getting, it's awesome. I have kind of medium to small, I wouldn't say small, but medium, normal hands. And as you can see, it fits the hand nice. It's not too small. It is a big knife but it fits good, um, nice aggressive jimping, so you have a good purchase, that 90 degree spine, just a really good all around knife. And 
cl closes. Super simple. Uh, I am still carrying the Maglite Mini LED and the Gerber US1 combo. Um, the Gerber US1 has just been a tried and true staple. Um, sometimes when I'm outside of work and I don't want to carry the big main knife, I find myself just throwing this in because it's lightweight. Um, it's that plastic handle. It's small. It's easy. It's not really scary. It just it does the job. As you can see, there is a bunch of scratches on the black coating because I've used it a ton. Um, and this is the one I hand out to people to use. It, it's just a good all-around knife. If you can still find it on Amazon or wherever else that you can find it, pick up that combo pack because you get a good quality flashlight made in America. Get a good quality knife that is just a good beater knife. It's made in America. Um, it's just for the price. You can't beat it. But yeah, I do love this mag light. Um, it's small. It gets lost. You don't really remember you have it. But when you do remember, it's nice to have. So you're not using your phone as the light. Um, I have looked at replacing it for something with a similar size as far as uh, width goes. and But with a tail cap. That's my only issue with the mag light is it's a twist on, twist off. I really would like a tail cap. Um, if I can find one with a rechargeability instead of just slapping in batteries, that would be awesome too. But I have been more than pleased with this mag light. I love it. It's a great option. Uh, pin. <laughs> you guys know me and my zebra pins. I love the zebra pins, but I have a problem with them. You get a two pack of the zebra pins for six, seven bucks. And for me at least, I write all the time. I am writing nonstop for 10 to 12 hours a day at work. And I was running through ink. And it's just, it's nuts for me to pay that much money and run through pins when I only get two of them. Um, so I went back to an old trusty favorite when I was a kid in school. This is the pen I used, it was the Uniball Fine Point. My mom had a box of them in her desk at home, and I'd grab one, and I, this is what I'd use at, um, all the time when I was going through school. So I've gone back to it, and I remember why I love it. I love the way it writes, everything about it, the way it feels. The only thing is, it's just it's plasticky. I wish I could find one that was like this pen, but metal casing and felt good, but wasn't going to break the bank. So that's, on my, that's, that's for sure. One thing I've been looking for that I would love to update is my pen. Something that writes like the Uniball, but feels better, if that makes sense. I want I don't want that plasticky feel. Uh, field notes. This is the same field notebook that you saw from the first EDC pocket update. Is this one, as you can see, it's gotten nice and worn in. Um, I'm a little over halfway. I write front and back on it. I write real small. Um, I use it all the time in work out of work um, so this was a great investment it's so in the time of day we uh, time we are we're so focused on our phones that being able to carry a notepad and write something down physically write it down it's made a change in the way I do things and my attitude I'm not just staring at my phone um, and it gives it's been helping me when I say hey I need to go grab something from the store I write it down instead of having like the wife text me or write a memo on my phone. Guaranteed I, fi I forget it or I'm sitting there staring at my phone walking through the store. And now I can physically write it down. I'm writing it and my brain just, it might sound weird, but my brain remembers it better. So I've been carrying that. I love it. I absolutely recommend get yourself a pen, get yourself a notepad and just start writing again. I love it. So I got a five pack of those, I believe shoot on Amazon and they were like five bucks for so a dollar a pad but I've had it now for three months and I haven't filled it up yet um, I still carry the mini Bic you never know when you're gonna need to start a fire um, would I want a Zippo yeah but I really don't want to have to worry about refilling the Zippo or anything like that and this is just simply just goes in the pocket I forget about it when you have that person who needs to bum a lighter from you or say you for heaven's forbid you get in a situation where you need to make fire you have something with you Bix are cheap easy big I like it plus it goes with my theme of the green black and kind of brownish so 
if you haven't noticed that's what my theme is there is a wild card I'll show you here in a second that's not to theme at all um, lip balm I have been carrying anointed AK lip balm for about a year now um, and I love it um, just the feel the scents or flavors I don't know what do you call that a scent or a flavor leave it down in the comment let me know um, but they're just awesome I love them um, and I like supporting anointed um, they're from a state that I I hope to be one day so that they're I carry a little piece of Alaska with me every day <laughs> so anointed AK lip balm the wallet I have gone back to the Lionheart Leatherworks wallet a minimalist wallet uh, just a bifold style cards and whatnot mainly because I love the way it feels the way it carries uh, and it does everything I need it to do I tried a carbon fiber ridge style wallet um, I liked it and also really didn't like it it didn't fit my needs um, it was a very minimalist wallet it was hard to get to a few things and in my line of work I have to carry a lot of cards um, certificates uh, proving things and stuff like that so this was just it's just easier for me um, so I've gone back to it I love it um, just the quality and there's just something about feeling leather that's been handmade hand dyed hand everything it's just, it's just a feel factor I like it it fits me better um, I have now also started carrying handkerchiefs a lot um, almost every single day there's every so often where I forget but 98% of the time I have a handkerchief with me uh, and I have two different styles I have just the bandana which is the simple cheap easy method grab yourself yeah that's the uh, bandana version the other one is uh, the custom one you've seen them um, going around they're like the Hank by Hanks and I believe there's other ones uh, those are awesome I'd love one but I really just can't I just couldn't purchase one I couldn't find myself doing it because when I could go and get bandanas so what I did was I went to Walmart to their craft department and they have a section where they have like fat quarters they're just little sections of fabric and I picked out two fabrics that I liked took them to my aunt she squared them up and sewed them together as you can see one side is sugar skull the other side is this blue paisley it's very bright does not go with anything I carry, but I love it because it is unique, it is mine, and well, that's why I carry it. Um, in the summertime, well, really all the time, I still carry a water bottle. Um, this is the one that I've carried all the time. This is the Ozark Trails, it's the Yeti knockoff, um, but it works fantastic. I sticker it up, make it mine. Uh, a good water bottle is a great investment. Stay hydrated, um, and I like this one. This is the Ozark Trail to screw on. Um, it has never let me down um, and it's done everything I needed to do so that's that now the next thing um, obviously you're like well there's no firearm there is a firearm I just can't carry it to work so that's why you don't see it here um, it stays in its case at home because I can't carry it where I work um, and when I get home sometimes I don't even grab it I just leave it alone and go with what you see here so Guys, that's been my EDC Spring 2019 update. It's been a pleasure. Uh, but until next time, guys, be a blessing to someone, and I will catch you then. Bye.